Hey guys, what is up? Sam or Scorpiolo here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get all 10 spectral visions with the Etherscope in D Machina and earn a sick calling card challenge towards the D Machina report category. As we know, completing the Easter egg showed us the first 5 of these visions, and after a bug fix today, we now know how to see the remaining 5. Firstly, I'll give you a quick guide through them all in game, before actually playing all of the visions in full for you, since they're just jam packed with some awesome tidbits of story. Without further ado, let's get right into it. To begin this, you're going to need to build the Etherscope, something those of you who have done the Easter egg should be very familiar with, but for those of you who haven't, I'll quickly walk you through it. First, turn on the power and build the Pack Punch Machine. Once done, a Dark Ether Portal will spawn at a random location on the map. You now need to find the three Etherscope parts that will spawn at the same locations every game, but one at a time in a random order. These can only be collected in Dark Ether Vision and can be found under the staircase to Nact in the spawn room, on top of the engine component of the crash site plane, and in the particle accelerator room by this portal here. Once done, you can assemble these three parts at the build table and collect the etherscope to move on. Head to the medical bay and enter the dark ether portal. This is where you can view the first two brand new visions. It's important to note this must be done before you view the Vogel's diary visions for the main easter egg. First, run to the armor station in the particle accelerator room and you will be able to enter a vision right here of a few scientists. Another can be found by the free die wonder weapon door on the first floor of Nak. This one's really cool actually. Kind of tells the story of that dead skeleton who you actually find in that room during the easter egg. I find that so cool. Anyways, once that's done, you'll need to enter the three Vogel visions. First, collect his diary from beside the medbay computer and go to these visions and hand Vogel his diary in the following order. The first is in the medbay by this barrier under the computer room. The second is in the control room where the trials are activated. And lastly, the third one can be found by the etherscope build table, again in the particle accelerator room. If at any point between visions you're taken out of dark ether vision, just wait till the portal respawns and go back in. This may take a few minutes. It's worth noting that once you activate a vision, if you don't shoot any enemies, they won't attack you while you're watching. But as soon as you shoot anything, or the vision ends, they're gonna come for you. Anyways, before you can actually do the next visions, you'll need to build all four wonder weapons and get up to the point of the easter egg where a new dark ether portal spawns between the med bay and particle accelerator room. I'll link a very reliable guide by my good friend DK Dynamite down below for those of you who aren't familiar with the easter egg. Enter this portal and run to the crash site area, a vision can be seen by this tree outside of Nakt of two Russian soldiers. Once you're done, just head back to the med bay and view the spectral vision directly outside the computer room. This will actually give you the dark ether wrench that will allow you to progress in the main quest. Again, continue to progress through that quest until the last step, where a portal will spawn on the bottom floor of Nakt. Go through it and run to the pond area, where a vision can be seen by this tunnel here at the back half of the area. Another can then be viewed in the control room once again, where the trials are. This one's right beside the AK-74U warby and actually features Valentina from one of the side easter eggs. After that, we're on to the last vision, the one of all of which gives the photograph to trigger the boss fight. This one's actually found in the corner of what used to be the mystery box room in Nactor on Toten through the help door. Once that's done, congratulations, you've seen all 10 spectral visions and you will have earned yourself a cool ass calling card named Seeing Ghosts towards the D Machina report category. You can go ahead and collect the photo here and finish the easter egg, or just die out and end your game. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to leave you off with the footage of all of these in order since they fill out some awesome story stuff about the research being done on the site, Dr. Olaf's backstory, the wonder weapon and some awesome side characters. If you've enjoyed this make sure to drop a like to show your support, leave a comment down below if you'll be doing this and subscribe for more zombies content. Enjoy the visions. I just saw the issue going to this with our eyes open. And 
understood, my dear Kurtz. But if we can change the course of the war, any risk is worth taking. Processing. Hello! Scheiße! The monsters, they are everywhere. I am surrounded. My men, they are all gone. And all that remains is the station has fallen. That scientist, he knew something. First he flees during the transport, then the radiation leak. Now the undead are everywhere. That shotsack, that swine. He knew this would happen. He left us for dead. Breathe, water. It will be fine. They will send reinforcements, and they have to. So until then, I will... I will, I will hide, yeah. That's right. I will hide, and I will wait. Scientists were supposed to be smart. But it's not like anyone in Poznan would want to shelter him. I wonder what he wanted. You think he came back from his goal? Let Colonel Lazarev worry about that. You just remember which tree, okay? Stay safe up there. Uncle Vadim and Uncle Alexei will come for you just as soon as Berlin is in flames. Chapter for Mother Russia begins. A 
thanks to us. We will be remembered as heroes, you and I. Do you not agree? Do you know what will happen when we turn on that machine? Did they tell you anything? They told me it was first step toward Soviet supremacy. So they did not tell you either. What more do you want? We were told enough. Come, we must complete our job. Which will it be, Orlov? Will you be remembered a hero or coward? A hero, maybe. A hero. Just think, Doctor. In two days, we will forge a new future for the Soviet Union. So, I take it you found your men. I found two volunteers for the task. <laughs> you find that amusing? No. More ironic, actually. In 1945, the Red Army volunteered a man's life to shut it down. Forty years later, here we are. Volunteering men to reactivate it. It's almost poetic. Guess you can't do old Soviet new tricks. I am not interested in tricks, Beck. I am interested in results. If my calculations are correct... If your calculations are correct, we will have immediately achieved more than those Nazi bastards ever did. And rest assured, they are correct. <laughs> Let's hope so. The colonels will want to suffer fools gladly. My son.